If you want to chase your dreams and to succeed, you have to move. This is the show for you. If you have an interest in a career in music or modeling, this is also certainly the episode for you. Five seasons ago, the show stopped in South Africa to interview Sela. My guest on the show today is someone who left his life behind in the U.S. to make his dreams come true. He is a music visionary who has evolved his brand a whole lot since we first spoke. Before I bring him on, let's learn how he podcasts. Sela, which platform do you stream your podcast through? When I podcast Spotify. When do you normally listen to your podcast in the day? To be honest, there's no specific timing or schedule. It's kind of just when it, when it comes. All right. Well, where do you find yourself normally listening to your podcast? Is it in the car? Well, I don't really drive too much anymore because my car is in So usually when I'm walking or when I'm in bed. There it is. So at night or during the day with that, yeah. you heard his voice. We have Sella back on the show today and welcome back to that entrepreneur show. I am your host, Vincent A. Lancey. If this is your first time sitting down with us on Rewind the Clock episodes, I bring back past guests to share their new experiences to help you grow. And on each new episode, I find a founder of a company or brand from around the world to share their motivations, what works for them, what doesn't work for them, all to help you succeed. On his first episode, He shared how he was a music artist and a visionary who was creating a consistent and timeless lifestyle of individuality. And since that first episode, I mentioned he has climbed leaps and bounds from producing music to modeling to making his own music. I've seen these music videos coming out and they look real good. You could tell he's now surpassing that stage of where he was on this episode. He's grown a whole lot. Let's hear how he did it and let's learn what's new from Sela. Sela, it's great to see you again. Hey, man, nice to see you as well, man. <laughs> Would you mind giving the audience a preview of who you are before we dive into business talk in case they did not catch your first show? Okay, so pretty much I'm a music artist, visionary, and creator. Uh, I'm making music, developing music artists, developing talent models, anyone that I feel has potential to create something and connect to brands. And um, yeah, now I'm just uh, focusing on my move to France in uh, December. That's exciting. France in December. So the next two months, you're going to be hanging in the U.S.? Yeah, I haven't seen my family for like over five years, sadly. So I wanted to make sure I better my relationship with them before going on to the next chapters in my life because I feel family is like the most important. That's a great piece of advice for everyone. Family needs to stay in a primary role. But we got a preview to him. So now we're going to have him reintroduce that first endeavor that he brought on the show back a few seasons ago. And then we're going to talk about how his brand has evolved. Okay, so, yeah, pretty much uh, I was talking about just going to South Africa to work under my brand agency, pushing my music and working on working on my brand agency as like a model, actor, whatever. But I've been doing that for about 11 years now. So I just came to a point where I needed to kind of evolve that. So instead of working with my brand agency, I became my own brand agency. And that's why I'm moving to France because I co-own a company called I Am Agency with my business partner, Loic. He's French, and we decided to join forces. I can put my music under there. Yeah, I can put my music under there. I can put my magazine. I can put my scouting company under there. I can recoup the actual money from helping out people rather than taking, like, only 5 to 10%. So it's just, like, a big career change that I need to do to really start not just making bigger moves, but also making better money because you do so much work in the art industry, and you don't really get the money back. And um, I think I made enough appearances and done enough accomplishments now i need to kind of like really get my my foot down and make it a bit more cash for myself i agree with you a lot there even with mine you do a lot of work in the beginning for free and eventually you do have to monetize it more than just here and there and as we spoke about before the show some things that have set back for me was the social media because of how much time it is and i focused more on getting in front of community organizations community leaders to spread my message and hopefully network with people who can buy large quantities of my books to help make a difference on a larger scale. I've had these podcasts sponsored now, which is cool as well on the mental health break. So thank you. Yeah. Congrats on your success as well. It's all about finding ways to evolve. Like he said, and in your journeys listening on nothing stays good forever. Things always change. You have to try to evolve and some things that work well right now may not be working well in the future. 
because things like we said do change let's now talk about more about this france trip though man you're going at, where yeah. in france are you headed is there a creative hub yeah. in france yeah, honestly, man, it's weird. Ever since I told my soul I'm going to France without even having a planned like way to get there, everything's been aligning up. So like Toulouse is where my partner, my business partner lives. Um, but obviously we'll be in and out of Paris, but just being in that area is enough for us because we have, he has all his French contacts. I have all my contacts. And to me, Paris is still like being in LA or New York City. It's just a more European part of us. So it doesn't really change um, the business infrastructure. It's just a different place to base out of. That's exciting. Do you have any idea of what yeah. your first project is going to be once you get to uh, yeah. France? So that's the thing. Um, I learned don't just, you can't just move without a plan, but I feel like you, you need to take more calculated risks. So like you're still okay. taking risks, but calculated. So I already knew I have a business partner there. We already have funding. We already have certain things, but um, he has like certain companies like Triller, France, that's now sponsoring me and we have other people out there that know about me. So when I get there, it's not like we are just trying to let people know about us. We already have seeds planted. So, um, yeah, Great the main advice. focus is, um, I left my music management. They were trying to take advantage of my, my artistry. So I said, let me stop trying to have people work for me. I work for myself and get someone that believes in me, like my partner. Yep. And so, yeah, just putting my music legally under me, making sure I don't get my rights taken, taken up. And also, the brand agency that we own is a creative hub where we can literally sign anyone we want. The graphic designers, authors, um, people that we feel can be influencers, actors, models, and we can put them under us and help develop them and connect them with brands. So it's kind of like a little, it's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge because I can like literally do what I've been doing all this time, but actually in a way where I can help out and actually not just help myself out, but help other people out. So it's just like a little project for us that we plan just to keep expanding and joining forces with other people you know just like taking over really more great advice there you really got to be conscious about your decision making and what's going to come from it we are now recording this at the end of 2021 covid is still affecting all of our lives since march 2020 we all thought this could be a month or two let's talk about how covid affected your endeavors here Sela. Yeah, I mean, when COVID happened, I always, people don't understand, I do everything alone. Like, I don't really yeah. produce music, but I find people that can produce no matter who they are. And I, I tell them what I want. I, I'm up there in the process of it. So, like, I, I'm able to create and make things happen. So, no matter COVID or not, I'm always doing things for myself. So, I never can wait on anyone. So, COVID just yeah. was a more of a chance for me to do what I do in a harder way because there was no business really opened up. So I was able to create way more. That's, that's honestly where my music started to get more attention because I made like, I think like five mini albums and yeah. during the covert time. And I just put more time in understanding my visuals and had time just to really focus and hold on to my craft. So sadly, despite people losing jobs and passing away, COVID for me helped me to really like, just kind of, you know, suck it up and get my stuff together and really put time into my craft and take it more seriously. I can resonate with that as well. That's where my podcast really started to catch some fire because I didn't, I was working with myself. I'm in the house. Nothing yeah. got affected by COVID. COVID affected all the nine to five folks, everybody in jobs force out in the public. But for me, it was an opportunity to really hone in and focus. Books came out of that pandemic. I think I had two written as well. The show has really got fire. So yeah, it was exciting to really have the chance to focus or give up and face that, that battlefield where, okay, money may be halted in certain areas, but let's evolve the business in ways I can work with right now. And that seems exactly. to be the same case for you. What was the yeah. best piece of advice you were ever given, Sela? And who was it from? My dad. <laughs> He's always told me, I never understood it. He said, son, let the sleeper awaken. I'm like, what does he mean, the sleeper awaken? And like, I think like a year or a half ago, I woke up. And I was like, oh, just, you can't, let anyone or anything tell you you can't do something you always have something inside of you that is like what makes you tick makes you like fire up and when you can actually accept that and let that part of you awake like nothing can stop literally you just have to stop you just can't stop and i think people always say um oh you never can get it or this doesn't work out the only reason why they say that is because they stopped at this part the point of the journey so like you never will know if you can get something until you just keep on going for it. so it's like my, when my dad told me to sleep with us in making, that to me is like the, the fire inside of you, that passion that has to fully be lit. And you have to accept that 
it comes with dreams that are filled with nightmares and things that will, you know, depress you, rejection. But once you awaken that part of you, nothing literally in this world can stop you but yourself. So. Well said again. Sometimes it may not be clear how you're going to get to that end destination. So it may seem really challenging and quote impossible if you surround yourself with people who are short minded and don't believe in themselves or have that level of confidence as well. They're probably going to tell you that it's not possible because exactly. they don't see it being possible for themselves. But if you are a hard worker and you dedicate yourself to something, I'm a firm believer in that it only takes one one person to see your project, see your work and they can change your life. So stay focused. And one way I stay focused is constantly bettering myself through reading, whether it's articles or books. Could you recommend one book to our community of entrepreneurs that would really help them out? Who is the author? Describe it a bit. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I haven't took too much time to dive into books lately, yeah. um, only because uh, I have been so focused on creating yep. and having my partner, Loic, he's been kind of like, um, that person you were saying, that one person that just believed in me and that just kind of giving me the, the the kind of focus. And so the past like year and a half, I've been so honing on just like creating and just kind of figuring out and making my own plan. So um, I, I wouldn't want to say I have a book, something to recommend because I would really want to give something that I think is proper. And I don't want to be like a false prophet in that, in that area. All right. So then how about this? What is one piece of work that you've created over this last mm -hmm. year or two since we've last sat down that can help our audience? That can help your audience. Um, I think the mission behind um, my newest uh, project called Fall in Love, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty much how I, 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 I pictured it or how I describe it. South Africa was like my, my portal to my true self. So um, and discovering myself in South Africa, I finally accepted that I am my own worst enemy, own worst critic. So in order for me to really get to where I want to get, I need to accept my flaws. I need to forgive myself. I need to keep going. And so with the Fall in Love uh, video that I actually released yesterday on my birthday, um, September 6th, it was uh, a, a opening to the more authentic side of me, which is allowing yourself to know the person in the mirror is the only person that you need to worry about. And um, I think a lot of people, um, we have these self-help books and we have these books that, that, that teach us certain ways to, to, to find and to like manifest, you know, your, your reality. And I think the, the most important thing is understanding and learning yourself first. And uh, me really accepting like who I am and the things I don't like about myself has really allowed me to kind of let go of a lot of things that have been holding me back. Every entrepreneur, I'm sure, can resonate with that. You are standing in your own way. Once you actually go ahead and get out of that comfort zone and do it, a whole lot of good things happen. In my specific case, it all started with my first book. Once I finally put it out, stopped listening to the critics, it went out and that book led me to the podcast and that podcast led me to a whole lot of great things. But as you know, Sela, normally it is time for the spotlight story. But since we've had you on, and this is a Rewind the Clock episode, I'd like to give you the opportunity to shout out and bring light to another entrepreneur's endeavors. Who do you want to show some love to? Um, I would love to show love to Coco and Breezy. Um, they are these twins that I met in New York uh, about eight years ago. Um, they literally moved to New York with nothing but their own glasses design, clothing design. And within the six months of moving there, a photographer took their pictures. Lady Gaga saw the photos and they Facebook the girls actually, they just thought it was fake. And they end up making glasses for like 2007 wars that Lady Gaga wore, which opened up many doors for them. To these young, young, beautiful twins out in New York now. They've been in the game for about nine years and they made glasses for Prince. They worked for Beyonce. They're so inspiring to me. They're so sweet, so humble. They DJ now. They they make clothing, they make glasses, they have books out of too. Like they're just, they're just crazy, a uh, uh, bunch of just positive and inspirational um, a young women. And they're young black women too. So I really just like, really, really, really look up to them. They're very, very um, kind and they're very just hardworking. And uh, yeah, a lot of people still don't really know about them, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, Coco and Breezy, their name is C-O-C-O. A N D B R E E Y uh, at on Instagram. Check them out. They're doing amazing work. And while they're checking them out, how can everybody check you out as well? 
Uh, I'm in pretty much I am Stella on all social medias besides I think uh, Facebook. So I A M S E L L A H. That's Instagram. That's uh, Twitter and that's YouTube. My um, uh, I think my TikTok is official Stella, and yeah, uh, pretty much just type S E L L A H with two L's. Stella. <laughs> Be sure to check out everything he has going on. And with that, I got to thank you so much for coming on the show today and wish you another happy birthday. I enjoyed how you shared about why you're moving to France. It was a calculated risk. You're not just moving. And that's very, very important for people. Strategy is everything, especially at a certain point of your startup or entrepreneurial endeavor. Time is very limited. So you want to make sure what you're doing makes sense and not setting you back a year or even a couple of months. You didn't give up during COVID. You find it as a chance to hone in on your strengths. And I liked at the end where you made this project that really resonates with what you found yourself in over in South Africa, finding your true self. And that can be a passion piece of advice for everyone, no matter what industry you're in. Find your passion and then watch how far you go. Let's now stop with for your last word. Yeah. Um, I just want to really thank you for constantly being consistent with reaching out to people and getting information out there. And also for Loic, my business partner, he has really helped me to kind of just step outside of my, my comfort zone. And, and like you said, you really just need that one person. They don't have to be someone famous, someone rich. They just have to believe in you and push you. And when you have that, no matter what, you realize you have that. It's just uh, one of the most priceless gifts that the world can give you. So, um, yeah, because of him, I'm now able to live in my true, own a company, help out. I have idols that literally I've looked up to that are now in my DMs and my messages that I can help out, give them opportunities to now. Like, I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for I Am Agency. So uh, that's I Am Agency, I-A-M Agency F-R on Instagram. Um, we're very new, but we have some crazy contacts. And, like, I'm really, really just excited just to see, you know, what, what happens. So don't give up. Keep pushing and don't don't wait on anyone. If you want something done, you better learn how to do it yourself. <laughs> Appreciate that last word. Very inspiring, as was this entire show. While you're checking out all that great content for Sella, be sure to check us out too. We are that we are at that entrepreneur show on all major social media platforms, but on Twitter we are at podcasts by Lancey. So you have updates from all four shows. My handles are at Vincent A. Lancey for all social media and YouTube. My website is vincentalancy.com. And if you want to check out any of my books, just type in Vincent A. Lancy on Amazon and you can check out all four. It's time to end the show with a quote. And this one will be from Roger Staubach. There are no traffic jams along the extra mile. Thank you for listening. And we will see you next week on That Entrepreneur Show. Sella, thank you again. Thanks, brother.